Worldwide, cities are facing changing climates, growing populations, and rapid urbanization. In the face of these challenges, water is crucial. Water makes a city livable, sustainable, productive, and resilient, a fact that planners, designers, service providers, and governments now recognize. A city, town, or region that is water sensitive has many benefits. Things like green, cool, urban spaces, swimmable waterways, healthy and connected communities, and cultural significance. At the Cooperative Research Centre for Water Sensitive Cities, we've identified six developmental states that cities move through on their way to becoming more water sensitive. As a city moves from left to right across this continuum, we see a shift from large-scale centralized infrastructure to a more decentralized, integrated approach to water management that helps to deliver these benefits. A city's journey through these states isn't linear. It may even involve leapfrogging, as the developing city learns from others and accelerates towards more advanced states. What does it take to become a water-sensitive city? Stakeholder collaboration, cooperation, and alignment are crucial. We know it's not always easy to achieve this coordination and alignment. So to make the journey easier, we've developed the Water Sensitive Cities Index. The index benchmarks your city's current performance against seven goals of a water sensitive city. These goals are both biophysical and socio-institutional and have 34 corresponding indicators. These goals and indicators help you paint the picture of a water sensitive city and the possible outcomes for your local area. To determine a city's benchmark, workshop participants first individually score an indicator on a 1 to 5 rating scale. A final score is determined by sharing knowledge and data and reaching an agreed consensus. The scores can then be represented in a footprint diagram or can be filtered by the developmental city states, which shows your city's strengths, areas for improvement, and helps you determine actions and funding priorities. The Water Sensitive Cities Index makes city-to-city -city learning possible. Cities across Australia, Indonesia, Fiji, China, and Myanmar have used the index. It's been applied to large metropolitan cities, regional centers, and local government areas. With more international testing and refinement, we will be able to apply the index to cities and regions across the globe. Above all, the index helps cities answer some critical questions about becoming water sensitive. Where should I begin? What are my city's strengths and weaknesses? What actions can I take now to support my city's transition? How do I motivate and engage stakeholders and coordinate action? How can I measure progress over time? If you'd like to see how the Water Sensitive Cities Index can help your city, we'd love to work with you. We've all got a lot to gain.